In digital audio, oscillators are mainly used to produce sounds, in which case we talk about audio rate signals. However, if the frequency is too low to be perceived by a human ear, we refer to control rate signals. These oscillators are mainly used to control other sounds in pitch, volume or any kind of modulation. In the sound cue editor built in Unreal 4, there is a node called oscillator, used to add continuous oscillation in pitch and volume over time. If you want to know more about ongoing variation, have a look at the video you can find both on top here and in the video description, where I show how to use envelopes. Now, without further ado, let's move to Unreal. Inside the sound queue, I have imported a audio file which contains a white noise, which is great to experiment with the oscillator since its amplitude is constant in time. Inside this oscillator node, we can see that um, we can choose whether to modulate volume or pitch. Let's start with the first one. Then for each voice, we have two values, a minimum and maximum. That's because if we specify a range, let's say from 0 to 1, when the sound cue is played, it will pick a random number between the selected range. If you want to have a specific value, you have to write the same number in both number box. If we move the cursor over uh, amplitude, we can read that an amplitude of 0.25 would oscillate between 0.75 and 1.25. What we understand is that the oscillator is producing a bipolar signal, which means that it produces a curve which has half of it above its center position and the other half below it. So the full range of the curve, the oscillation, it's twice the value we write in the number box. Let's say we want a full range of 1, so we have to write 0 0.5. Talking about amplitude and center position, let's jump to the bottom where there's the center value. This is very straightforward, so a center of 0 0.5 would oscillate around 0 0.5. So if we want the audio file to start from 0, and have its maximum value of amplitude at 1, we have to do so. In digital audio, when we talk about offset, we refer to uh, the shift of a signal in the x-axis, which is the axis of amplitude. What's happening in Unreal is that offset is used to define the phase of a signal, which is a parameter that defines at which amplitude level the signal is starting. So for now we can leave it as it is to zero. The last setting is frequency. If we move the cursor once again over frequency, we can read a very strange thing, which is a frequency of 20 would oscillate at 10 Hz. This is a very strange behavior since in audio when we define a frequency we refer to the velocity of the oscillation. If we say 1 Hz is one cycle completed in a second. To make it easy, if you want a specific frequency you have to write in the number box twice its value. So if I want a frequency of let's say 2 Hz I have to write twice its value, so 4. And now we can have a listen to the final result. Here I leave you a few examples I recorded from Unreal where you can see and listen to the white noise shaped by the oscillator using different settings.
So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.